Now I want to talk about another way of inputting data into your Arduino, your prototype, whatever project you're working on. And it's a little more unusual. Bet you haven't seen one of these in a while. No, it's not a USB keyboard. It's actually these PS2 keyboards. You remember these color-coded plugs from the early days? You don't see them a lot, but everybody's got a used one and you can still buy them fairly easily online. And they're dirt cheap. And guess what? Arduino can speak or communicate with these keyboards very easily. So let's hook one up. First, I want to show you this. It's a little breakout adapter for the end of the PS2 cable. And basically, you plug this in. And now I've got power and ground and my data and clock. So now you're asking, how do I know what all these wires mean? Well, where I bought this adapter has a pinout for the color-coded wires. You can also search online. There's many of these available, very inexpensive, a dollar or two. And you can probably get a keyboard for free. You more than likely have one. And if you don't, these are like a few dollars. And typically the red wire is five volt, but in this case, it's actually the green wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the power rail of the breadboard. I know black is ground. I'm gonna plug that into there. And then yellow is the clock. So I'll just pick a row anywhere on my breadboard. And the brown is my data. Again, pick any row. So that's basically how I'm gonna hook it up to the breadboard. Now we need to connect it to the Arduino. But before we do that, let's take a look at the code. So I launch Arduino. And again, we're going to use a library. The library we're going to use is type in, again, mine's installed already. But if I do PS2 keyboard right here, you will have a little install button. Click install and restart your Arduino IDE. And we'll take a look at the example. So once that's installed, you can go to examples. PS2 keyboard, simple test. And let's take a look at this. Again, it's really well documented, so figuring out how to wire it all up is fairly simple. We can take a look at the beginning here, and they're telling you what are the valid interrupt pins based on what kind of board you're using. So we're using an Arduino Uno. So we know that we can use two or three for the interrupt pins. So when we go down here, we have a data pin. Let's just make that two, and let's make the interrupt three. Simple as that. We just changed them. Again, it's very well documented. So we can now take our red from here and connect that to five volt. And we'll take the ground with this black wire, connect that to ground. Simple enough. And let's take the data, the brown wire in my case, and put it to pin two, digital pin two. And let's take the yellow wire and connect that to digital pin three. That's it. That's all you need for communications between the keyboard and the Arduino. Let's quickly verify the code, being a built-in example with the library. I hope it works. And yes, it does. And now let's upload it. I'm gonna to have to plug my Arduino in. Again, first thing you do, board, yep. Port, nothing yet. Let's hold on one more second. Port, there it is, Genuino Uno Arduino, perfect. Let's upload it. Watch those blinking lights. Okay, now it's uploaded. We're going to open up the serial monitor. And it says keyboard test. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Get my keyboard in here. And let's type something. Arduino, exclamation point. And it works. And it's really as simple as that. Now I have a full keyboard.
that I can enter any kind of data that I want. I can read that data and I can interact with it. I could turn this into a piano. I can turn it into just inputting characters. I could use it for controlling a, a robot or anything.